Johnny Cage, he may be strong, but can he do one full pull-up? Yes, yes I can. Can you do a pull-up with 400 pounds of weight strapped to your body? I don't think so, Johnny Cage, I don't think so. How's it going guys? I'm Robert Oberst. We got a lot of comments on the last video we did with Fuel, the 20,000 calorie strongman diet. You know, I'm gonna go through and read some of them and you know, laugh at a few, probably cry because some of them are kind of mean. We got a lot of stuff to go through, so here we go. El Turco has said, he's definitely left humanity behind. I guess that's a compliment. That's nice of you. Thank you. Statues bleeding green. 6'8", 400 pounds. I want this guy in the UFC. Give this guy a deal. He'd be a good bodyguard or a bouncer as well. First off, in the UFC, I would have to probably cut off at least one of my legs to make the weight cut. Because 265 pounds is a big difference from 400 pounds. Now, I've actually been around a lot of those guys and they're not as big as you would think. It'd be fun. I, I would like to do it. I guess it would. My wife would definitely not let me do it. Neither would my mom. My mom would kill me. Bodyguard and bouncer, I did that for a long time. I don't do it anymore. I definitely don't bounce anymore. I don't wanna deal with you drunk assholes out there. I'd rather just be home and, and lift weights. This tire right here, this is 1200 pounds. Honestly, it's a brutal tire. We call it Bubbles because we like to have like a sweet name for such a torture device right here. And I mean, I'm 6'8", 400 pounds and it makes me look small. Fernando Garcia, he looks like the Hulk and Action Bronson combined. Thank you. Pretty sure that's, that's like one of the nicest things anyone said on here. Action Bronson's definitely the man. Torfvit said, I wanna see a movie starring this guy as a dwarf. I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know what to even say to that. I think to cast me as a dwarf, we'd have to get some really big fucking dudes to play the regular people, so. Well, however it works, I'm down, I'd, I'd do it. Mr. Streetballer 5. I don't get how these dudes get paid. Well, guess what? It's none of your fucking business how I get paid. I get to get that shit all the time, all the time. People think it's okay to ask me what kind of money I make or anything. I've never gone to anyone else and said, hey, what do you get paid? It's not right. Don't worry about what I get paid. Worry about your fucking self. Frank Molner looks like a typical strong fat guy I see in the gym. Why do strong men like being fat? You can be strong as fuck and lean too. It makes no sense. If I'm the typical fat guy in the gym, then the typical fat guy in the gym is one of the strongest people in the history of the earth. So there's a lot of really strong guys at your gym. I just came from the gym. Nice, yeah. nice, see, so you basically do what I do, but you don't eat all the meat. Well, I'm not older than you are. No, what yeah. are you, 25, 26? Oh, God, I love this man. Uh, <laughs> Machiavellix, the strongest men are always the kindest and most genuine. You undoubtedly have nothing to prove. All right, that was nice, thanks, man. A lot of us were really chubby little kids and got picked on and know what it's like to grow up that way. So when your body actually kind of grows into itself, you remember that. I always remember that. I always live my life feeling like the chubby little kid. I don't feel it's necessary for me to go around pounding my chest. Although I do it, it's fun. Sometimes I do it for videos and I do it in shows and all that. But if I'm at the grocery store, I don't need to scare every regular person that's walking around, you know? Jubaka. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that. He earns all of his money doing what he loves, lifting and eating. The fuck do most people do with their lives? Work some boring ass desk job. Most of you healthiest and best years of your life are just spent looking for cash. Idiot? More like genius. Ah, that was nice. Thank you. That's kind of how I feel. I love what I do and I don't have a boss. I'm my own boss. So I got to travel the world, lift weights and just enjoy life. Demonium CC. The food looked like a fucking mess. It's fine, I guess, since he eats that shit and not me. Dude can't cook and has a dumbass career choice. I would never say it to his face though. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I've never had one fucking person ever come to my face and say, hey, you're an idiot. No, behind the desk at your mom's basement. Yeah, you're really strong, really tough, that's great. I live in the real world, homie. Ultimate potato dude. This guy probably has the most epic dumps in the history of man. I feel sorry for his toilet. See, now that's funny. That's good stuff. That's great. I'm not gonna go into discussing my dumps with you, but uh, that is really funny. I should start my own Instagram for my dumps. I don't know. My mom's gonna be mad that I said that, so I'm sorry, mama. Rebast? 
think you guys come up with some weird names. If I were to see this guy on the street, I would think it would be some type of redneck racist. But man, have I ever been so wrong. Fuck society for fucking up my vision of people. This guy is so humble and down to earth. That's actually a really cool thought. It's not just people like me. There's there's all different types of people all over that that get judged by how they look. For even one person to think that I I changed their vision on that or, or adapted how they look at other people, like, I don't know what else I could want from this video. So that's really cool. Thank you. Bass Boom Boing. Self-obsessed individuals should do something worthwhile with their time rather than just eat. So what I do is not as good as somebody who spends their time trolling the internet and talking shit on YouTube videos. All right, good for you. Superfly Fat Guy 859 said, Man, I would be unstoppable at that size. Laugh out loud. I have an appreciation for big dudes like that. My dad's family is big. The problem is my mom's only 4'10", so I'm smack dab in the middle. Well, the honest truth is my parents are both short and they're not big at all. My parents are little. I have uh, 10 siblings and I'm the only one that's you know this big. For some reason, I just stood out and took all the size of the family. I don't know how it worked, but you know. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're definitely doomed to be short if your mom's short. Blitzman McGurin, Chuck Norris would hide under his bed if he met this guy. I definitely agree he would hide because he's a 70 year old fucking man. <laughs> Other than that, he would definitely kick my ass. Robert Laremia here says he's definitely been skipping leg day. I actually get that all the time because I was born with these little chicken legs that really helped me in football to be fast. But in strongman, they just look like I'm not strong. I compete with heavy ass squats. At World's Strongest Man, I did 740 pounds for reps. I won the event easily. So I don't skip leg day. The legs just don't grow anymore. It is what it is. Paper cut six. This guy is awesome. But every time he talks, all I can see are his huge traps. Thank you. An average person could definitely eat like this, but then they wouldn't be an average person for very long. You're gonna be super chunk. You know? You know do the truffle shuffle or buy yourself at the house. Zaffs says this guy probably has a small wiener. Honestly, if you watch that video and that's what you're thinking about, I think it says a lot more about you than it does about me, Mr. Zaffs. Phaneron, why do so few strongmen do mild slash moderate cardiovascular exercise? Anyways, I think this guy's really cool. Too many lifters are egotistical dickheads, and the fact that this guy is so down to earth, friendly, and funny will make me think twice about judging heavy lifting types. You know, it was really nice of you to say I'm cool and, and all that stuff, you know, it makes me all tingly inside. But um, you have no idea what I do for cardio work, dude. My cardio work is hell. As a professional athlete, like, my heart is the most important thing for me, especially at being a big guy. I'm not an idiot. I know that being as large as I am is hard on my heart. I know that. This is why I talk to doctors, and I'm, my brother's a doctor. I actually spend a lot of time making sure that my heart is healthy. So I definitely do work my cardio. All right, that's it, guys. That's all we're going to go through today. A lot of good stuff. A lot of you guys are pretty funny. Thank you. And to everyone who thinks I'm fat and all that other shit, you can suck my tiny wiener. I guess I have. And if you don't think I eat right, well, I don't. <laughs>